Hey everyone, I'm Susanna. Welcome back to my channel. And this is my new cardigan. And now, so on the way to finish. And in the last video, I told you it is the even if I open 14 rows each in between. Uh, so I told you that is the nice idea to make the button holes on the right side but today I'm going to add a border with button holes okay so let's get in today I'm gonna use this uh, plastic button looks like shell the diameter is approximately 18 millimeters and uh, with two holes so compared to four holes two holes are easy to sew in so I recommend you this kind of two holes buttons and uh, you, I'm going to use this side is up because the surface is flat and I'm going to use five buttons and the color is very close to this cardigan and you know a little bit summer impression so I like this cardigan with these buttons okay so next step after joined and chain one and into the slip stitch in my case i fastened off the yarn and so in so ends in the stitches so it is a little bit hard to continue to crochet but try to insert into the space of the slip stitch it is kind of a u-turn movement and pull up a loop and let's make a stitch a single crochet stitch and this is a corner stitch and a fast stitch as well and the next let's crochet into the stitch where we uh, which we made in the previous round so now I'm working on the second round and we have each stitches in the previous round so it is quite easy to crochet and uh, I'm going to make five rounds of the border because the, my button has 18 millimeter diameter and so I'm going to open the button holes at the low three and close the button holes at low four so uh, like that Anyway, for the la second round, we are going to make single crochets in each stitches and I'm going to explain how to crochet at the corner. So uh, I'd like to meet you up at the corner stitch. So please continue single crochet to the, the end. And now we reach the corner stitch and here is the chain one space it is a little bit hard to find and in the chain one space insert our crochet hook in the chain one space at the time please or leave the inner vertical loop at the left because this loop belongs to the next single crochet so insert into the light just light here in the loop and make single chain one single and um, place the stitch marker into the chain one space at, I mean the center stitch after that we have we can see the single crochet in each stitch so we continue to single crochet but we are going to I'm going to decrease a little because uh, otherwise my color will stand up like a high neck and I don't like that design so I'm going to decrease six times how should I do? It is so simple. You can see the in the increasing point on the second round. Find that stitch and just ignore and skip the stitch. So single crochet and single crochet and the marked stitch is the the very last stitch. So we are going to skip that and make single crochet. That's it. So when you see the increasing point, skip the stitch and continue single crochet so that automatically we can skip six times and we can decrease six stitches at the color round. 
So next is the this stitch. It is quite easy to find out because the others are all in between stitches but only six stitches are in the stitches. So just mark the point or uh, the next point and just continue single crochet in each stitches. And skip. So this is the last stitch and next is the marked stitch. So we're going to skip the marked stitch and continue single crochet so that now we could skip two stitches. Like so we continue to the other end. So like this it is easy to place a marker to uh, indicate next, uh, next point. Oh, I nearly finished the color. So after finishing the last decreasing, we are approaching at the corner stitch. So you can see the chain one space at the corner. So in the chain one space, let's make single chain one and a single crochet. And let's mark into the chain one space because we are going to use this chain one space as the corner stitch from now on. All right. Okay, next is the side and we crochet it from the bottom to up and now we are going to crochet from top to bottom. So we are going to uh, make a single crochet in each stitch because we made all stitches in the last previous round. So let's crochet as uh, according to the stitches. Nearly ending this round and coming back to the starting position. So I'm going to make a single crochet which is missing. And usually we are going we make chain one space, but I don't make it. Just join with a slip stitch. Alright, this is the second round. And then the third round. The third round. We are going to make button holes at the third round. And we're going to skip two stitches and in between markers I have 19, 20, 19, 20 like so because we didn't have enough uh, stitch you know, evenly. So I'm going to make it but uh, you, can, you can calculate like that. Please uh, calculate evenly. And I marked two stitches because we needed to skip two stitches for this button. But the length uh, is according to the button diameter. Okay, anyway, let's start to single crochet. So reaching the marked stitches. And I'm going to skip two chains, uh, two stitches and check the diameter. It is a little bit smaller than the diameter. That is okay, perfect. And I'm going to make only one chain. Please remind make a smaller amount of the chain of the skipping stitch. That is a trick and tips. And then going to uh, continue crocheting each stitches. Like this. And nearly reaching the next point. So once again, check chain one and skip two and single crochet and let's check how this hole works so just pull push into the button holes okay nice and tight perfect all right the last stitch skip two and chain one and into the stitch and next is the chain one space so we are going to make a corner in the chain one space so chain single chain one and single stitch into the chain one space at the corner and next i'm going to decrease again oh uh, you you don't have to decrease so often but i'm going to decrease again and i'm going to decrease in between skipped stitch so in this uh fairly i started two groups of granny so in between the first granny and the second granny. So the next point here is the skipped stitch and the next point is 
It's because we study from two stitches, uh, two groups. So here is the stitch of the center, and we are going to skip that. So I'm going to make a single crochet and skip the center stitch here and make a single crochet. And I'm going to mark the corner stitch like so. And next, we are going to skip between second and the third group of the granny. Alright, the fourth round. We are going to close the buttonholes. Okay, chain one and a little bit U-turn movement and make a single crochet in the joining slip stitch stitch and continue single crochet and nearly reaching the buttonhole and the first buttonhole has only one chain but we are going to make two single crochet it's because we need to match up the number of the stitches. When we make buttonholes, we reduce the stitches, but for making a single crochet round, we return to the same number of the stitches and make sure this buttonhole is good or not. It is quite good. All right. All right, the next round, I'm going to decrease once again. And I'm going to decrease at the same point of the first or the second decreasing point. So this is the point. And if you're not sure, you can mark here, mark the stitch as uh, following the previous round. And uh, it is a preference. If you feel, uh, please do not forget to try this on. And if you feel it is too tight, please do not decrease. This is my Length. I would like to close my neckline as a crew neck, so I'd, I'd like to close quite you know, small, so I did decreasing, but if you like to more loose fitting, please do not decrease a lot, uh, as many as I do. But if you do it, you can go ahead. So actually, I did decrease uh, 18 stitches and next is the fifth round we are going to make a single crochet in each stitches we don't have to decrease anymore we don't have to make button holes anymore so we just continue to single crochet it is a very good uh, relaxed process so i love i love this round okay let's continue single crochet in each stitch and after that, please try this cardigan on and check the fitting. And okay, all I saw, let's continue as we did before. No need to mention about it, right? You are sure. Okay, I did one, two, three, four, five rounds. And we can finish here, but I'd like to add a um, finishing touch. That is very simple and easy but effective. Trust me. Chain one and into every stitch make a sing slip stitches. And I'm going to mark the last stitch because I don't want to miss it. Okay. So let's continue slip stitches into every stitch. And please remember that the slip stitch tend to, tends to be tightened. So please make a loose slip stitches. That is my tip. And I'm going to mention about the corner. The corner stitch, I have chain one space. In this case, I'm going to make a chain as well. And skip this chain one and into the next stitch. Here and make a slip stitch and just continue so we don't increase any stitches just following the stitches and make a chain one into all chain one corner stitches okay so let's see you at the end of this round all right finishing and just finish with yarn needle to weave in end uh, 
Uh, this is invisible join. So after finishing the last stitch, form the chain a little bit loose and skip the next stitch and into the next stitch and so like this and back to the last stitch so that the shape is like a chain and invisible totally invisible and the last we are going to sew in these this end into the stitches and a single crochet is quite tight and neat so you don't have to worry about uh, you know to be loosened but for making a for in uh, for your security let's you turn and turn and turn and turn a few more times so I'd like to sew in zigzag zigzag like this okay so please look at the video with BGM The next step is sew buttons. So first, let's mark the stitch to uh, your place of your button. So sew like this. I don't, I don't explain it, but please look at the video and follow the step. Okay.
everything than how it looks like. So I did on the cu both cuffs as well and I added slip stitches at the last round and for the cuff as well that because this is all around in no fastening off so everything looks the same and professional look finish. And the buttons are also the same color hues so it is uh, totally coordinated and it's so simple phone but it is very novel and a good, nice look and this uh, can be very you know sick and uh, nice for your mothers or grandmothers and uh, also for yourself I, I made it for myself but I think my mother can wear it you know nice and well groomed so I, I recommend um, I, I don't think this is uh, stylish but it is you know timeless and nice look and elegant so I I hope you love and enjoy this cardigan and I hope you arrange it and enjoy this cardigan as well okay thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye bye